Hey guys, this is uh, uh, E2Team here. Hi. Hello, Marcin, Conrad. Uh, and we'll be showcasing, um, this, is, this will be a spotlight of the Hackathon battle, level 1 battle. Um, we'll show some, some gameplay from the beginning of the battle, and then we'll go further along, so we'll see how it changes in, in several rounds. Uh, without further ado, Conrad, could you explain a bit about the cards we're using? Yeah. So, we are starting off against level 1 Hecaton, who has uh, 6 movement, uh, we are hitting him on 7 plus, and he has 10 wounds that we need to inflict. Uh, he, uh, to make, th make things more interesting, uh, we also equipped him with a Forest of Fists, uh, Fists uh, trait card uh, that uh, raises your danger every time you miss, uh, yeah. miss an attack against the monster. Um, uh, we're set up with, uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, Hecaton has uh, the level 1 AI deck and level 1 uh, body part deck. Uh, mm, uh, do, uh, as, the, as the battle progresses, the, the, the decks escalate and we add more higher level cards to them, uh, making the battle more, uh, more challenging, hopefully. Uh, we are set up uh, with four Dreamwalker, Dreamwalker Titans. Uh, everyone has one unique ability, and the rest is pretty much the same. Uh, every, uh, each has um, five movement and one red power die uh, in the pool. We we are also uh, starting with uh, clean. Clean uh, three scalions, so all the values are at zero. Uh, maybe Martin will tell you more about that. <laughs> sure, sure. So the three scalion is the heart of our, uh, our system. Um, all those, th those are your basic stats that will go up as the battle goes uh, goes along. Uh, rage governs um, attacks and uh, attack abilities. And the higher you go on the rage scale, the more you can do. But going overboard, going over nine will. Uh, result in you losing control of the titan. Uh, danger is the stat that um, that you, you use, you gain when you get hit or something bad happens to you. The higher the danger, the, um, the worse uh, trauma card you will be drawing when the primordial attacks you. Um, the trauma cards can be good or bad, so um, it's not like damage, you are actually um, encouraged to raise those stats higher, also to unlock the abilities that Conrad mentioned. Um, and um, the final um, Triskelion stat is Fate. Fate governs luck, so it, it's used to mitigate luck, it's used to make rerolls and use uh, special uh, abilities. But the Primordial can also um, use your high uh, Fate level against you, so you better be careful. Yes. Uh... We are set up uh, in a scenario where Hecaton is uh, is attacking this SCT, and we <laughs> and we're trying to uh, to protect uh, it. Uh, the other um, terrain card are runes, so all those little um, one one space yeah, yeah. tokens uh, tokens uh, and uh, runes uh, will block your uh, line of sight. By on uh, on the other hand. Uh, uh, the Hecaton uh, can uh, push you into them and and uh, raise your danger level, so we need to be careful, uh, as he does that, <laughs> uh, usually. Uh, each, uh, each Titan has also has uh, a unique uh, gear setup uh, that we've picked yeah. for this battle, so everyone has, a, has different weapons, items and armor, uh, which we will be showcasing. Uh, all right, so, so yeah, without further ado, uh, let's move to the gameplay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, almost always the Hecaton starts first, this is no different, so the, the Primordial generally starts. Um, uh, we, we, yeah, so <laughs> in, in a bit. Uh, the, um, the Hecaton uses the AI deck to make their actions. Uh, so during the primordial turn, you just draw one AI card and follow the instructions there. It can be an attack, it can be some other thing. Uh, we'll see what happens now. Uh, and I think that that's that's it. We can go to the drawing of the 
<laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, so uh, gracefully we begin with a cold open, uh, <laughs> which is the worst card that we could have uh, drawn. But I, I really <laughs> love the art on that one. Yeah, uh, so Hecaton, uh, well, uh, starts at the bottle. Uh, yes, yeah, so harshly. Yeah, so the thing, first thing we, we do is check the target. We, we go line over line. If, if one line is true, then we don't. We, we stop and, and uh, move to that target. Uh, so here we have the closest item in front in range. So we have two uh, eligible targets. Yeah. But that's not the problem because um, uh, <laughs> Odyssey uh, uses, uh, uses a priority target system. Uh, that's that uh, token. Yeah, priority target yeah. token. Uh, um, the Titan that gets that has the highest rage level gets the priority target uh, token. At the start of the game, all of our Titans had zero rage, so we, we, decided. we decided to to give that token to uh, Herodotus. Yeah, so uh, Herodotus is uh, the target in this case, uh, which is uh, good because uh, he's equipped with. Uh, actually with two sets of armor, uh, a shield and a... Uh, and <laughs> a <spore>. skirt. <laughs> yeah, uh, that will help him yeah. maybe avoid some of the attacks. Okay, so we attack. Uh, the, the card instructs us to move and attack, so Katon, uh, cho we choose the uh, shortest path between the monster and the titan. And uh, and we well, move. yeah, in the, in, the, in this case, there are two paths that are equally um, as far, so we can choose which one of those uh, we really want. Uh, I think we should do this because this one has a ranged attack, so it's it's not it, it doesn't matter that she's uh, further away than, than other titans. Uh, yes, yeah, so we moved. Now we attack. We check if the titan that is attacked has a higher level of fate uh, he uh, yeah, he's not on he, three, he does not on three plus yeah. the attack would be more yeah, uh, uh, deadly hmm? uh, but fortunately that's not the case so in this case uh, yeah so you, you when you when the monster attacks you check how many dice he rolls or how many or rather how many dice you roll for uh, your evasion test attempt because uh, in Eon Trespass Odyssey the primary always hits unless you evade them. So this means that um, Conrad needs to roll for d10 dice. And this is the um, difficulty of the evasion attempt. So each, each time he rolls a six, six or more, he will uh, evade on that die. Mm -hmm. uh, and in yeah. case of uh, Herodotus, uh, with the two uh, armor Gear that he has, uh, we have plus one and another plus one uh, uh, modifiers to the to the evasion attempt. So that's lucky for us. We we can avoid the attacks on a four plus roll. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's actually yeah it's four four uh, two and seven. Okay. And I could use uh, Fate to re-roll a die, uh, but uh, Fate is, is a commodity that I prefer to use to activate, uh, to activate uh, abilities. Uh, plus, a higher danger level would also gain me access to more abilities. So, I'll... Uh, we'll just, I'll you'll just take yeah, it. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take the hit. Um, in which case I am dealt one, one, one danger. One danger. Right. Uh, and yes. yeah, and each time you are dealt uh, danger as a result of a primordial attack, you look to, the, to your uh, you look to your card uh, to this uh, table. This is the um, danger table, and it tells you which type of uh, trauma card uh, you will be using. using. With that in mind, you'll be drawing a level one trauma, trauma, a minor trauma. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fate's whisper. That's a positive <laughs> trauma card. Well, apparently. I actually. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, 
so uh, I have not reroll. I haven't used fate to reroll, but it's, it's it's rage. Ah, okay. It's, it's rage. So it's actually a very good card okay. because it uh, raises your rage, and will, you will start the your round with with some um, oomph to <laughs> your attacks. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah, that's uh, uh, that's a good occurrence. Uh, uh, and I didn't die, that's also good. Uh, after Trauma, uh, unfortunately, uh, the Cold Open card also forces um, Hecaton to do a pushback 3, which means that he'll, uh, he'll uh, well, push, uh, the, uh, push the Titan back 3 spaces. Fortunately, not hitting yeah. uh, on a. Uh, and on a pushback roll. also means that you move the figure of the monster the same exact amount of spaces. Uh, so, yeah, so he's just trying to isolate uh, Herodotus. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we'll have to do something about it. Uh, and, yeah, and that's the end of the primordial turn. Now we move to the Titan turn. Um, all the Titans have two actions, they can move and do an action action, uh, which means they can attack or use an, an ability, etc. And they all do it in um, an order of their choosing. So you should you are encouraged to, to think about the tactical advantages of going first or second, etc. Uh, again, so how, how, what do you think? Who, who should be the first to attack? Uh. Well, uh, as uh, as uh, the well, my best Titan to attack would be Ulyssa. Uh, uh, she can, uh, she can, she she's maybe not uh, the strongest hitting uh, character, but uh, she has a higher chance of uh, landing a strike. Uh, and if uh, if uh, for some reason I'm unable to wound the monster, I can leave a few, well, in this case, one uh, <laughs> opening or, or break token for a, uh, for a, for a different Titan. Then let's go. Yeah. So, uh, I'll activate her. Uh, she can move up to five spaces. Two, three, four. I could move five, but uh, she is actually carrying a long mast spear uh, which which has reach and uh, so I don't need to be yeah. as close as uh, uh, as right next to the monster mm. and we'll try to land a hit uh, with with this weapon we have two uh, attack die two attack die uh, and we need to roll the seven plus to hit uh, but we do have a plus two modifier that, uh, well, makes this test a bit easier. Uh, we hit on five plus. So let's see what happens. Perfect. <laughs> a critical hit. Yep. Yeah, and this is a critical chance. Mm -hmm. So uh, this means a natural 10 means on any dice in the attack means that you'll be... Uh, you'll have a critical chance. If you wound the monster, if you wound the primordial on the BP card, you will be making a critical wound, dealing a critical wound in this case. Okay, uh, as I attacked, uh, my rage increases yeah. with every attack. So, and that uh, activates my Kratos abilities. Yeah. Uh, a little explanation. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, yeah, so this is your Kratos table. Each Titan has one. Um, at the start of the game, all those Dreamwalker Titans have the same table, but you'll be able to change it uh, by, with abilities and, and gear. You'll also be able to create new Titans with different uh, tables. Um, this table is really tied to your rage level. Each time you attack, you raise your rage by one. And then during the attack, you'll have access to the abilities um, pictured on the um, Kratos table um, and they are th those abilities are stacking so for example if you have a rage tree you'll, you'd be using one of these two abilities this ability and this ability so this really means that the more you hit the monster uh, the more powerful you become as, as mentioned before so Conrad 
has rage one only at the start of the game, so he can only use the one of the first two abilities. Uh, and those two abilities uh, are actually used after the attack, so we'll probably talk about them later. Yeah. Uh, but they are actually crucial to the flow of the game. Yeah. Uh, so um, as we did all that, uh, we can actually uh, we need to uh, see what we hit. Uh, and let's see what's that. Okay, great. One of a hundred. So one of Hecaton's hundred hands. Uh, hands. Hands. Uh, and it's actually a pretty easy hit, uh, as as uh, he yeah, only, only has one uh, eighty to to break for us. Uh, and uh, and we are doing this by uh, yeah. with these. Uh, this is a power dice, and you get uh, you get them from your uh, weapons, and you get them from your standard. Uh, maybe I'll show it here. Yeah, <laughs> you'll get them as, uh, standard from your titan. This is your basic attack power. Um, you add all those dices up. Maybe you have some other modifiers, but, but let's let's leave that, that for now. You roll them, and you need to match or um, break the 80 of the card yeah and in in, uh, in, our, in my case i have uh, one red power die from the base titan mm -hmm. power and i rolled two hits so i get two additional red power die so yeah so one one die per uh, hit on the attack yeah. die. so hopefully it will be an easy uh, easy wound and uh, not, not even that if you wound you'll get a critical so let's see. Yeah, uh, two breaks. Uh, so that's over the uh, over the limit, and Hecaton is wounded. Uh, and I, as a as a reward, gain a, a gain two rage. In which case, my rage level goes to three. Goes to three, which is fortunate. And I get the priority target. Token. Yeah, and, and this actually means you'll probably stick with that token for a while. Um, also, you don't use any of the other um, outcomes of the card, even if it is uh, applicable, the critical trumps all. So this one goes here yeah. as a wound. And uh, But before that, we need to escalate. Oh, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so as... Uh, as uh, Mm, Hecaton was wounded, uh, he gets angrier. And uh, this is represented by the escalation mechanic that each uh, body part has. Uh, in this case, we escalate both the BP and AI decks. So, uh, as this card is turned into a wound, we simply add a, a higher level card to the BP deck. And uh, shuffle. And shuffle. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and uh, as far as AI goes, we randomly select uh, uh, an AI card and replace it with a higher level. Yeah. So, so this really means that the primordial becomes stronger and deadlier each time you wound it. This this card actually is a second level card, so it's probably harder to break the AT on that one. And the uh, um, second level AI that went into the deck will be much more uh, dangerous to the Titans. Yeah, so the last part of, uh, of this attack is to, uh, to use my Kratos table. Uh, as I fortunately escalated to level three, uh, I can uh, rage, I can leave up to two tokens. As um, uh, and that can help uh, well others with their attacks. Uh, in in this case, uh, I can leave either an opening token, which uh, makes Hecaton easier to hit, or uh, I can leave a break token, which makes Hecaton easier right. to wound. Uh, the the other titans that will attack after me. Uh, need to be taken into consideration. And we have 
and we still have three. Unfortunately, our most powerfully uh, weaponed one <laughs> is out of range, and uh, it might be difficult for him to to get uh, in range in, in the next round. Yeah. So, so uh, either Herodotus or uh, Philoctera will uh, will have the next attack. Uh, uh, Herodotus's shield isn't the best weapon. Uh, house with our yeah, well, other titans. Yeah, so, so Philoctera is actually well oh. equipped. Yeah, she's got the Ballista gun from a Trion Ballista. Um, it's got a really low uh, number of attack dice, but it's fairly precise. And it's also doing um, 80 breaks on a black die, which is better than, than, a, green, uh, than a green, than a red die, obviously. Uh, so I think, um, considering that that's a second level BP card, I think Philoctera should be the one that will be attacking next. Okay, so uh, how should I help you? Well, uh, <laughs> I think that um, you should probably leave one of each. Yeah, so I'm doing that, uh, I'm helping uh, Philoctera land a hit and hopefully a wound. Uh, yeah, that was a great attack, it turns out. Uh, so, yeah, so again, Fiocta um, doesn't have to move, as you can see um, on the card. Uh, it's got range 4 to 6, which means that she can attack targets 4 to 6 um, spaces away. Uh, and Hecaton is fortunately in that uh, space. So, she attacks. She takes one attack die and she gains plus two to precision and one more to precision for the opening token so that makes plus three. Uh, you have the standard um, to hit uh, value of the first one I on is seven plus so I hit on four plus. Okay. The hit has been landed now let's see what the ballista does. Yeah, if this is my version and fate. Um, well, again, she's she's uh, on rage one. So let's let's see what we've hit. Bone plates. Yeah, that's that's a hard target. It's got five AT. That's really <laughs> really hard at this point in the game. But hopefully, with with that. Um, break token and with the power of the ballista gun we can uh, break through uh, so i build my power pool there's one red die for my character this is the basic attack uh, basic power die and i'll add another one another die the mix from the, the ballista gun but again you can see it's four uh, it's, a, it's a black die plus one that one means it's an automatic break, so this is a really, really good weapon. That's why you need to pay uh, fate to use it. Um, yeah, so we got two dice. One shot. <laughs> That's a nice hit. We did not use the uh, the break token because we have no uh, no need for it. Rolled, yeah. Yeah, but but still, that's a hit. That's a break on the bone plates. Uh, so yeah, so so yeah, uh, happy wound. Uh, when we wound uh, Hecaton's uh, bone plates, uh, we gain uh, the Titan gains one uh, fat. Yeah. yeah. We discard the uh, Kratos tokens as they use either way. Uh, they get discarded either way uh, after the attack, and uh, we escalate both the AI and. Uh, uh, body parts. Yeah, and, and, and this time it, it gets exciting <laughs> for the Hecaton because we add third level cards to both decks. Yeah. Uh, so even though we 
insects that do not it may bite us <laughs> in a little while because yeah because there's a lot of yeah. high, higher level cards in the deck at, at this point in the game yeah so more powerful attacks even more powerful attacks uh, are put into the deck yeah and the final thing i'm going to do is leave my um, kratos token because of the one rage and i'll leave a break token because seeing that third level card makes me queasy <laughs> so, <laughs> I died. yeah uh, last time <laughs> me on trespass uh odyssey i got a battle uh Kratos died uh and we did some wounds to the primordial the primordial did some nasty things to us and both uh both of my titans are uh, at death's door uh, and to make matters worse, um, my 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 damage dealer, my my Solon Titan, um, has the priority target token, so he's a prime target for for the next attack. Um, this is the prime order round, so we go to the Hecaton. Yeah. Uh, would you do the honors? Yeah. Hopefully we can. Save the city at least. <laughs> uh, at least we can do. It. Okay. Um, okay. Level three AI card. That's mm -hmm. always fun. Yeah. Skull Crusher. Yeah, so sounds <laughs> sounds legit. Uh, okay. So uh, closest Titan in front in range. Well. Yeah, no so, surprise there. No surprise there. So, uh, yeah, uh, lifeguard, I wouldn't get far. So, and uh, the city would be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, so on the city. Uh, yeah, so the hand moves and makes the, the attack. I roll for uh, evasion. Yeah, so uh, if you have eight plus fate, uh, the attack has two hits you two times yeah well i i don't have uh, <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> uh, that much that much uh, fate and each hit does four damage so be nice to avoid it <laughs> <laughs> well so so close and yet so far away uh okay so the skull crusher does uh, for danger, I've got seven, so that would make it eleven, but it only goes to nine. Uh, so, 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 so it means that I draw an obol, and obols are nice. You see, there's two cards. One of them is uh, good, and one of them is really bad. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> well, this doesn't leave uh, much to the imagination. Uh, so yeah, mm. yeah. This one bites the dust. I still got this one. Uh, and yeah, after trauma, uh, well, my my Titan would get a knockout card. Which would be bad in itself, but uh, fortunately for him, he's dead, so he doesn't have to <laughs> have to deal with that. Um, yeah, the pri pri priority target token moves to yeah. Let's move. This is four. Seven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, it's our turn now, and uh, we actually are a bit well a s s stretched a bit thin. So, um, so we will probably, as we're at the brink of death, we'll try to maybe use some of our abilities uh, as a last effort attempt to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah to kill Hecaton. Um, uh, all right. So I actually have a danger level of eight with Ulyssa. Which means I can uh, use my ability one in a million, which allows me to draw any uh, BP card 
if I gain one more danger. Uh, and hopefully there's a BP card that, uh, that kills Hecaton instantly. Uh, and uh, we'll try to find one in the, uh, in the BP deck. Uh, but before that happens, uh, Martin can... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, again, if you're, if you're taking uh, the lead on that, I'll, I'll be the support on All this right. attack. Uh, so I'll try to leave uh, as much as many tokens for for you as uh, as possible. Um, so um, again, let's shoot with the ballista. Okay. Uh, I can even well, I can I can shoot from here, but maybe I'll I'll move a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna shoot the ballista. Uh, so this costs me another uh, fate for using the ballista. I'll tap the makeshift again. It also gives me more um, rage. So um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. So okay. So uh, I've got high enough rage to activate a lot of the Kratos abilities I've got here. Uh, chief of them is. Is those uh, super abilities we've talked about, uh, and yeah. Oh, but I'm first, we need to hit. Yeah, I need to. I need to hit. So uh, I roll at plus two, so five plus. Here goes. <laughs> right. <laughs> do we have some fate to re-roll? We do. Uh, that's eight fate. So we're dangerously close to mm -hmm. the. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I was hoping for a critical, but what can you do? Uh, okay, so again, I've got rage 5, so I've got up to 5. I can leave a lot of tokens, and I think I'll be using the expose ability to add even more tokens. Uh, I've got two rerolls and a red die. We can, we can move to the wounding stage. Yeah. Spinal finger call. Ooh, ooh, that's that's actually in my in my range. This and this one from my basic uh, attack power, and one from the Kratos table, and one black for the ballista gun, and one automatic hit. Yeah. So here's two. <laughs> well, that's 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 not a great um, outcome, but I do have two rerolls from my Kratos table for those dice. So I'll reroll those two dice, uh, and it's a miss. Still, one short. Yeah, one short, but still. So now, now I've got a lot of uh, Kratos abilities unlocked with, with five rage. Almost all of my table. Uh, this means I'll be able to leave a lot of tokens for you, mm, but also I'll have two rerolls during the mm, AT break attempt. Uh, and I've got an, an, one more red die to boot. Uh, so, uh, well, let's see what you've yeah. hit. That's something that can be broken. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 at this moment in the game, it's, it's doable. The five is doable yeah. uh, because again I've got like uh, one die for my basic attack power. I've got another one die from the Kratos table, and I've got a black die from my mm, ballista gun. It's three dice plus one automatic break. Uh, yeah. So let's give it a try. Let's, let's do it. All right, three hits and one additional hit, so we're just missing one. Unfortunately, there's nothing in the uh, active yeah. Kratos pool, but we do have rerolls, right? I do, I do. Let's think about it. I think I'll reroll the black die, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, what do you think? It's, it's. I think it's risky to reroll yeah. other other one, so I'll, I'll just do 
this one. And it's <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. This is this is the best result on this on this die. Uh, if there were two break tokens in the pool, it would count for four breaks. But those two is enough with my automatic break and those two red breaks to break to, yeah. the to column. Mount. Yeah. So nothing happens uh, uh, if we wound, except for. Of course, escalation. This is a, a, a level three body part, so um, uh, so the escalation is a bit more uh, complicated. Uh, we do escalate the AI deck and the uh, BP deck, but uh, as uh, Hikaten gets more and more aggravated, he gets plus one to uh, precision. Yeah, but we do do deal a double wound, so which uh, actually brings us to uh, three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Still, yeah, so, so close. Too yes, short. Yes, so far away. Yeah. yeah, but uh, uh, and and we recycle the. Yeah. So recycle means that you add that card back to the pool. Yeah. Um, but you do escalate uh, for the AI. Yes. So, so uh, and uh, all right. uh, okay. Well, ah, so I will give it a. Uh, Mix and we escalate for the AI. Yep. So, so yeah, level yes. two. We go to level three. Fun. Uh, right. uh, okay. One final thing I do in my turn is leave the Kratos tokens. I activate my expose ability, painting one fate, so I'm at nine fate. That's dangerously, that's disturbingly high. For, for any character, uh, and I will leave you. Uh, what? What do you want? Do you want to? And how many can you leave? I can leave you three tokens: two normal, two normal tokens, and one from the exposed ability. Okay, so oh, oh for, again, I can leave you four tokens. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm pretty good at hitting things. Uh, so, uh, and there are two uh, level three. BP cards that can kill uh, Hecaton instantly, uh, and it's his heart and uh, the root of corruption. Yeah, root of corruption. So a root of corruption is very difficult to wound. So let's uh, let's uh, let's let it be one opening and three break tokens. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a bold choice. Mm, all right. Yeah. So my turn. Uh, let's tidy up a bit. Uh, I still have the weapon with the reach, uh, so uh, so let's. Uh, if you could uh, put me a bit closer to Hecaton, not close. Maybe here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, and I'll try. Try. Well, hopefully finding a thing that will kill him. Um, all right, uh, I have two attack uh, die and I'm hitting on seven plus, five plus, and four plus. Four plus. Although I'd, it, it'd be great if I had a critical hit, <laughs> that would probably help a lot. <laughs> you do perfect. Although yeah, I did yeah, not. Yeah, I think I, <laughs> this was, a, this was a, <laughs> people at home. People <laughs> always want to say it. People at home will think that this is a setup, but it's, it's not actually. You, again, all right. I, I I will still try to reroll the second die as a more um, a more yeah more dice is always, always, always better. better in this case. 
right. Yeah. Five hits. Great. Great. Uh, all right. Before I uh, before I uh, draw the BP card, I will use my uh, Titans. Uh, uh, unique, ability. unique ability one in a million, which activates at danger level eight and costs me another danger level. So right now I'm at nine, just one small breath away from dying. But I, thanks to this ability, I can now choose any BP card I want from the deck. So let's see what we have here. I've got a feeling of what you want me to be choosing. Humanity. Nope. Shield Fist. Oh, we do have the Drum Heart. And we did uh, get a critical. critical hit. And we do have the Corruption's Root also. Let's see. This one kills him instantly. This one. You wanna sh show off or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, or just kill? Uh, I'll show off the cards. Uh, so this one actually doesn't kill him. It just makes him much less friendly. Uh, much less, uh, well, uh, dangerous in some situations. Uh, two wounds. Uh, we do have three um, break tokens and uh, I do have three red die. Corruption's roots a bit. I, you know, I, I, again, I don't think you want to show off. <laughs> I think you just want to... Uh, kill kill the Hecaton, so... Yeah, plus a double wound would also kill him. Yeah, so sorry. We'll, we're, we're going with that. Uh, with the drum heart. Uh, okay. Um, it's a critical hit. Uh, and uh, I do have... 7 Rage, with act which actually activates my full um, Kratos table. So I do have 1 red die from from my uh, titan's power one from the kratos table and one from the hits no two two, from two two great so you're dead as good as dead uh, and i do have two rerolls and a lot of break tokens so go break tokens okay <clears throat> Two breaks and two potentials, which I can activate with my break tokens. That gives me uh, four breaks, which breaks the drum heart with a critical hit. You've stopped the drumming heart. Uh, there's no recycle. Uh, permanently, each turn at the start of Hecaton's turn, he might gain a wound and do nothing. But during the escalation, uh, Hecaton gets another double wound, which brings him to 10 and kills him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was close. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still sorry from that Solon hit. Uh, so let's sum up <laughs> what just happened. Uh, we are really in, in the mid in the, in the mid game. We were really struggling, and we lost um, Herodotus. Uh, then we lost Solon. But thanks to the escalating abilities of both of our Titans, uh, we were able to unleash a really powerful attack. Like th there was, there was a, first my my Titan did really really good against the Spinal Column, and then we really like, like handed the drum heart to you on the platter with the one in a million ability. Um, yes. So that's a, that's a really powerful ability. Though it's it's really like it's it's unlocked really late in the game. Uh, it's dangerous if you do it at like 
yeah, <laughs> almost if you, if almost, you misuse it almost every time yeah it, 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 it's 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 dangerous and yeah but that helped us deal the four final wounds in actually two attacks and that's pretty great and uh, well and we managed to um save the city yep yep <laughs> i'm still <laughs> i'm just still sour that uh, someone had to die for that city for those nameless people but uh, <laughs> in, in the long run they will be very grateful to us and probably help us on the journey yeah so i hope you i hope you learned something and enjoyed our playthrough and uh, again well, if you have any questions or uh, comments just leave them uh, below uh, in the comment section of the kickstarter yeah and yeah that's that's it for us uh, we probably have more uh, content coming soon so stay tuned yeah bye